What is up, man? Your boy's here. We about to jump into some reactions, and we have Five Finger Death Punch, Wrong Side of Heaven. Now, this has been requested a lot, but not really by you guys. This was a personal request from someone that I know. So, she stayed on me to do it, and I said, I will finally check it out. So, let's go ahead and check out Wrong Side of Heaven. And here we go. The ones that you love the most are the ones willing to fight for you. <laughs>
Brotherhood, baby. That's what America should look like. Forces Network, Golf Veteran Vet Association, American Legion, American Veterans for Equal Rights, Line of Veterans Association, Call of Duty Endowment, Code of Support. Helping Hometown Heroes. Who did I give to? Someone started one on Facebook for veterans. They was raising money for veterans on Facebook. I normally try to donate what I can whenever I see somebody raising money for good causes, anyway. And supporting our, uh, our dull swords when they come back home is definitely a good cause. I'm going to let this play through. Um, man, I don't even really know where. Have I ever talked about the American dream? I know I talked about the American dream on another video. I believe I did. I try to not to repeat too much, guys, because I'll get in the habit of doing it. Um, I honestly believe like most people in the country we're lied to we're lied to we're constantly lied to we're always lied to i believe that our warriors our shields who go and do things that some of us will not do they're lied to as well i think we need to all get on the same page that there's something dramatically wrong with a system that won't support its elderly properly and its veterans properly. There's something wrong. We need to get to the root cause of this problem. Because I personally believe from who do I know? I know about eight people personally in the military and about three that's out of the military my uncle died last year he was a marine he had a heart attack uh but he was like 65 i believe a lot of us have a, like I, there's a lot of there's a lot of military family in my family I honestly do believe, guys, that what they promise you that you'll get for doing it and what you'll get when you get back is kind of a lie. I honestly believe that is the actual lie part of it. And I believe that the, the pay, um, all these different things is not up to par. For veterans and I think when veterans come back over here and they tell themselves well now I'm gonna get some of this freedom uh, some of this you know and see how great this country truly truly is I think they begin to see the true suffering of the country within itself like we got a lot of homeless guys we do we have a lot of homeless there's a lot of gentrification going on. There's a lot of capitalism buyouts that's happening. And I think what happens is when our swords come back over here, 
they realize they can't get a job that's going to pay what they need to live where they want to live, to raise their family, to have that life, or take care of the family that they're coming back to. And they begin to see that, man, this is, it's very difficult over here. And then when they become homeless, you're not seeing them in the uniform. So to a lot of people in this country, we're taught that the homeless are just lazy, the homeless is just this, the homeless is just that. You know what I'm saying? We're taught a lot of negative stigmas and stereotypes about the homeless. I hope people will begin to see this reoccurring issue of stereotypes on people. Because it's not just of stereotypes on whites. It's not just stereotypes on blacks or people of color. It's stereotypes of other people in disadvantaged situations. There's stereotypes on poor. There's stereotypes on homeless. There's stereotypes that what people don't see beforehand, before the person's in the old clothes, carrying the bags or pushing the cart, they don't see that uniform of service. You know what I mean? They don't see that. That's not what's there. What they see is just a homeless person. I mean, man, you just think about like, think about guys who won medals who's pawned them off just to buy stuff like essentials to have for a short time. Like it's, it's crazy when you think about it, but I want everyone to understand that we have this unified problem. It's affecting the poor. It's affecting the middle class. It's affecting our veterans. It's affecting a lot of people. We need to get to the root of this issue. How are we supposed to be the richest country in the world, but we got so much suffering happening? How we got, we let our swords come back to this country and they get dull. We leave them. Oh, they're not useless. Oh, I don't want him on my job because he may flip out. You know what I mean? He may go crazy. There goes more stereotypes. You see what I'm saying? On our own, on our own people, on our own these are our swords and shields here, and they got stereo negative stereotypes on them. I just wish everyone would just sit down, see past your bias, see past your bigotry, see past color, and we can all start the conversation that needs to happen here. That's all I'm going to say, or this will get longer. Your boy's Nixon.